Back in April of 2021, I made a review video talking about Rayman 2 on both N64 and PS1. I won't go into too much detail, but it was basically a controversial video because I talked about why I preferred the PS1 version over the other versions, despite the PS1 version cutting content. Now, I'm not alone in liking the PS1 version more, but if you ask a lot of Rayman 2 fans, they're always going to say that the PS1 version is like one of the weakest versions. Uh, but there are like several different versions of the game. There's the N64 slash PC slash DS version. There's the Dreamcast slash 3DS version. And then there's the PS2 version, Rayman 2 Revolution. Speaking of the PS2 version, it actually has kind of the opposite problem in people's eyes where it has too much content. I'd say the most amount of Rayman 2 fans are going to say that the Dreamcast version is the definitive version. But they still have a problem where they prefer the Hall of Doors, which is in almost every other version, but the Dreamcast version has the Isle of Doors. So it got me to thinking, what if they made like some sort of faithful remake of the game? Which version would they choose? It seems obvious at this point that they would choose the Dreamcast version, but people are still pretty split on which version is actually better. That one, the PS2 version, you still have the N64 fans, and you have the PS1 fans. So if they just stuck to remaking the Dreamcast version, then it wouldn't really make everyone happy. I mean, not that they're trying to make absolutely everyone happy, but there would still be quite a few fans that would not be happy. But if I were to be put in charge of remaking this game, first of all, I'd really wonder about their decision because the only knowledge I have of video game making is uh, through stuff I've seen on YouTube and playing Little Big Planet and Project Spark. And second, I have a few ideas as to what they could do to make the game please more people. I mean, again, it wouldn't please absolutely everybody, but it would probably please more people than just sticking to one version. Now again, this would be a faithful remake, a more faithful remake, not just a full-on remake or just a simple remaster. Now in case you're wondering why I'm not talking about Rayman 1 before Rayman 2, well that's because there's already Rayman Redemption, and I feel like that's probably the best kind of way you can play the game. So good job to whoever made Rayman Redemption, you made the definitive Rayman 1 experience. Going back to Rayman 2, the first thing I would do is make the levels like the PS1 version. Now hear me out. Take the cut sections and make them bonus rounds. So that way, if you want to get through the levels without 100%ing the game, you don't have to do these certain sections. You just have to do them if you want to 100% the game. And I'd say either make it to where the bonus levels are in the levels and you just go to them, but you can pass them by if you want to, or, what I would prefer more, is to unlock them after you beat that level, and then that way you can just do it separately if you want to. An alternative to this is to just have the same types of levels that are in all the non-PS1 versions, but cut them in half. That was one of the problems I had with the non-PS1 versions of this game, is that a lot of those cut sections just felt like filler, and it made the levels drag on a lot, which I've mentioned a lot in the video. And that's honestly kind of a problem in some of today's platformers. It feels like the levels go on a bit too long for the types of games that they are. Cutting the levels at least in half would solve that problem by having technically more levels that just don't last as long. So that way you don't have to worry about getting through a long level and then halfway through or almost all the way through you have to quit and you lose all your progress. Now the save system would also have to be good for that to really be solved, but I mean, given that it's this year, uh, I would imagine that there would be an autosave. Now another alternative I just now thought of that I didn't write down is that you could always have the levels intact the way they were in the non-PS1 versions, except this time have it to where once you reach a certain section you can always come back to that section from like the hub world even if you have to quit you could always go back to that certain section. Some would probably see this as being a little too easy so maybe have some sort of difficulty option for this game and that would hopefully solve it. Moving on to my next ideas, how would we handle the hub worlds? Well, most people seem to prefer the Hall of Doors, so there you go, just make the Hall of Doors the way you access the levels. Maybe have it to where you can move around a little more freely as Rayman, but also have the option to just go, you know, the way it was before, just go to the levels that way. But I wouldn't completely cut out the idea of having the PS2 hub world and the Dreamcast hub world. So what I would do is make it to where the PS2 hub world is where you access bonus missions and mini games and things like that. Now also give the option to have some sort of quick menu where you can access these bonus missions and all that a lot quicker, 
But I figured that having the PS2 hub world there would be kind of fun to just run around and mess around as Rayman as you find this stuff. Now, as for the Dreamcast version's Isle of Doors, well, I thought about just keeping it the way it is, except instead of accessing levels, you access different concept art and videos and behind the scenes stuff in general. Like, over the course of the game, you can unlock different behind the scenes stuff, and then you could access them by going to the Isle of Doors. Again, have some sort of quick menu to be able to see that stuff a little quicker, but I figured it could be a fun way to keep the Isle of Doors in the game while giving it some use still. Now, there's also a lot of little things I think they should do to improve Rayman 2, but these are pretty much the main things I was thinking of that could possibly please a lot of the fans no matter which version they grew up with, or played in general. The only other thing I can really think of is the voice acting, which I feel like it should have actual voice acting, but also give the option for that language they spoke in the non-PlayStation versions of this game. Now, if Ubisoft were ever do this, would I expect them to do it like this? Probably not. I'd say they would just remake whatever is the most popular version, but I feel like my ideas are stuff that could potentially please a lot of fans. I mean, I don't know for sure, but I feel like it could. But anyway, that's pretty much what I would do to fix Rayman 2 if they were to ever do a potential remake. Let me know what you thought of my ideas in the comments. Or if you're so smart, let me know how you would fix Rayman 2. <laughs> and let me know in general how you feel about Rayman. Like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe for more videos like this and any other types of videos that I make. And I appreciate you for watching. Have yourself a good day, or night, or whenever you're watching this.